if you can build your strength up physically, mentally, spiritually, I believe that if you, you can funnel all obstacles, all victories, anything through that lens, we all have all the strength that we need inside us. We just sometimes need to hear the right story. We need to hear the right message, or it needs to be the right time for us to unlock it. And when you get that good conversation, there's so many things that play in. It's like a dance. Strength is about harmony, not balance. What's up, guys? So welcome to the show. Welcome to a special solo podcast episode, number 100 of the Strength Connection. Uh, I'm so grateful to do this episode and uh, to speak with you directly one-on-one -on -one here. Uh, I knew I was going to do something for the 100th episode. I knew I wanted to do some sort of uh, just short, brief, just message. Uh, I had honestly no idea how I was going to do it, um, really until the last couple hours, I think, um, of just putting some ideas and some thoughts together because when you do solo episodes, it's always weird. I didn't know if I wanted to do a very specific framework, if there was a specific message that I wanted to go or just come on here and shoot the shit. Um, I kind of found this is probably going to be a little bit of a mixture of both uh, together. So 100 episodes, more than anything, I wanted to, this is going to be as much of a gratitude um, an appreciation love letter to you, the listener, um, as well as all of the guests that I've had on. So for the listener to you, those who have been on this journey who or have found it along the way. I've got some really beautiful messages over this past year from you of how the podcast has impacted you, different stories, different insights that you got from experiences or phrases or books recommended. I mean, a lot of different areas of um, helping you develop the strongest version of yourself and any no joke, I get chills every time I get a message about that. Um, it is really, if there's any specific reason why I put this show together and why I'm going to continue and do this um, for forever, that is my mission of this. Um, this is a, a purpose that I feel that is a part of me. And I'm going to share a little bit about that, the mission, um, this journey of why I've done this show, why I want to continue doing this show um, and spreading this message. But I think more than anything, it's just, I love strength. Um, I really do. And I love every different type of strength. And I think that word can have a different meaning to every person that you encounter. Um, there's different ways that it can be portrayed in a million different facets, but that word strength always feels like it has a positive behind it. There's always fuel and energy behind it. And one of the things that actually struck me was something this past week and it was a a personal story behind um that i got a chance to see my mother for her birthday this week um got together as a small family and during that time i was actually thinking about this episode i was thinking is there some specific things i wanted to talk about and then i just looked over at my mom and i'm my mom is one of the greatest people I've ever met in my entire life. She has been with me for everything um, I've ever encountered in the world, stuck by my side. And the strength that she has shown me in life and what I have learned from her, and she'd be the first to tell you, she is not the physical strength-based person. She used to joke all the time about how me and my sister could have came from her with our athletic prowess and the abilities that we had, because that did not come from her side of the family. But what some don't know is that when I was three years old, I was diagnosed with leukemia and got through that. This was back in the late in the eighties. So it wasn't the same as it was now. Um, it was, I mean, it's always serious when that diagnosis comes out, regardless of the time that it is. But even back then it was, uh, it was very serious. So picture being a young parent with a three-year-old who's just diagnosed with leukemia, not knowing what's going to happen. And, my mom was the rock of the family in that time. Um, you know, the stern face, all right, what do we need to do? And got that shit done. And uh, still to this day, I see that strength that she has um, within her. And that's something that's never left me. So that's a different side of strength that I talk that from what I talk about a lot on the podcast. But I know that anybody listening who's a parent, anybody who you know, has that relationship with their parents or so, I'm sure you're nodding your head along of knowing what I'm talking about with that type of strength. So the mission behind this podcast and why I wanted to put this together is because 
I wanted to spread the message of strength. I believe strength is a container for all things in life. And if you can build your strength up physically, mentally, spiritually, I believe that if you, you can funnel all obstacles, all victories, anything through that lens, then you are going to find your true self. You're going to find the best, strongest, most joyful, you know, life that you possibly can have. And this started not just with me, you know, I was part of a podcast with my former partner, Chris, who's like a brother to me, I love him to death. And we started the Breakthrough Secrets podcast. And we were doing a podcast episode a day when we were working that together, we did like 170 episodes in six months, getting connections with uh, a lot of people specifically on the coaching front and on the on the strength world. Um, it was something that personally for me, I realized that I love conversing with people. I love sharing stories. I love diving into topics and doing it in a little bit of a long form way where it's not just a Q&A type answer. It's sharing experiences. It's sharing stories. And when we parted ways in our partnership, I did not know if I wanted to continue with a podcast again. I was used to doing it with a partner. We kind of had a good ebb and flow. And I'm like, can I do this solo? Can I just go on my own route and do this? And I was like, well, we had a couple people that um, we canceled interviews on from the other one when we were, you know, uh, doing the, the, the split and the dissolve, dissolving our partnership. And I connected with a few people. And the first person that I had on on this podcast uh, Fabio Zone, an unbelievable instructor from Italy. He was my team leader in uh, SFL in April uh, this year and Strong First Lifter. And within five minutes of talking with Fabio, I knew that this is exactly what I wanted to do. This is the content that I wanted to share and wanted to bring out to, uh, you know, to my audience, to a community and build this community up and share this. Um, so Fabio, first shout out of the day on this podcast, I will say thank you so much for being that first guest and all the coaches afterwards. I'm sure there's going to be a lot more shout outs as I just get rolling with this. Um, but the quote that I have here that I'll read through that I wanted to kind of keep a framework on this is that we all have all the strength that we need inside us. We just sometimes need to hear the right story. We need to hear the right message or it needs to be the right time for us to unlock it. Um, that was one of the great lines when I had Tim Anderson, the creator of Original Strength on that he said to me and that stuck with me is we already have all the strength that we're ever gonna need in our, in our bodies. We just need to figure out how to unlock it. And not just on the physical side, but on the mental side, on the spiritual side, on the emotional side, a lot of that comes from story. We learn through stories. I know I learn more from stories than anything, and I'm sure you do too. That's why we have favorite movies. We have favorite books. We, there's these stories that have been told throughout time of the old Shakespeare, Romeo and Juliet and Hamlet from the Odyssey, the Iliad. These are the, these hero's journeys where people overcome obstacles. They find their inner strength. They come, they come out of the abyss and they find the light. And then we celebrate that. We see them overcome that adversity. And where in our own stories, it might not be so dramatic that it would be, you know, a two hour cinema type thing, but we all have our own stories and we all are fighting our own battles and we're all in our own hero's journey. And the way that we get through those is not just from diving into our own willpower, our own self-motivation, but hearing from others um, that's really been probably the biggest message that I've had from people around this year is I heard this story from XYZ coach or this, you know, psychologist or this person who, you know, overcame, you know, overcame this. And it's, we just need to hear those stories at the right time. And that's why I love this podcast so much and why I've done it and why I'm going to continue to do it is because sometimes the message is similar one story after another, but it's just about the right time. It's about hearing it in the right context. Sometimes the right articulation of that story is, it just fucking hits. And it's just so powerful when it hits like that. It's like you get chills. One of the things I've been working on personally myself, and I've talked with a lot on the podcast is intuitive training. And for a long time, I had no idea how to articulate this in the right way. And I knew what I wanted to say in my head. I knew what it was doing for me when I was going through it, where I was 
kind of walking that fine line between structured programming and intuitive training, but I couldn't articulate it. So any, anytime I tried to talk to somebody about it, they were looking at me like I had three heads and I'm like, I just don't know the words of it. And having conversations with people like Brett Jones, who has been, you know, shout out to Brett. He's been my coach, been my mentor and a great friend for so long. He has helped me find the words from it, not just living it and just practicing it, but then articulating it from the work that he's doing, sharing those stories that he has. Um, and I think that's such the power of conversation. And that is one thing really over the past couple of years, it seems like we've lost a bit in our culture is that we are not having those conversations anymore of, or not having them as much. And when you get that good conversation, there's so many things that play in. It's like a dance. Like when you're, when you have that solo conversation, you're getting deep into some important conversations, some important topics, some things that you're going to debate about, the things that you're not going to agree on, but you're talking through it. It's like a dance. It's like dancing with the other person. It's like, you, you know, somebody's leading it at one point and you're trying to listen to the music and you're following along with the beat. And then all of a sudden you're just making beautiful things together. It's so powerful. And when you feel that, like the fuel that you get after listening to a conversation like that, I know how powerful that is. And some of the great messages I've gotten from you as the listener is saying, you feel like you're in the room with us. Like when I'm with a guest and we're diving into some of these conversations, it's just an absolute blast. And it's, it's so much fun to hear. So we learn through stories, sharing stories. So if I can give any insight or advice to anybody out there, because some of the questions I've had is how do you start a pot? How did you get started on this? It's like, just tell your story, just tell your mission. You know, my mission is to spread the message of strength and to know that your intuition is a skill that you can develop that all the strength that you need is already in your body. You just have to figure out the way to unlock it the best for you. And by hearing that from other stories, you're going to find a way to do it. So just keep listening, just keep asking the question and it's going to follow suit from there. So this journey over the past year has been crazy. I was going through actually all of the people that I've talked to on this podcast and just the different modalities of training that they do and the different um, careers that they have, the different stories that they had. I mean, just going through some of this list, I've had coaches in all different realms from the kettlebell world to the Olympic lifting world to breath work, you know, Patrick McCown from Oxygen Advantage, it was uh, come on, um, entrepreneurs in business, Brian Grasso, one of my great mentors, one of my great friends, um, has been such a huge impact personally to me and being involved in his partners program. I wouldn't have had that opportunity if we didn't connect on this podcast. Um, mindset experts, psychologists in sports psychology and trauma, you know, and uh, overcoming trauma researchers in this world. Shout out to my boy, Antonio Squanta. Uh, martial arts masters, spiritual leaders, sleep and health specialists. And even I had two men that have told their story about how they found their strength after doing stints in prison, um, about how they found the person that they didn't want to be in that realm and found a different path from there. So all these different stories have kind of wedged together over time. And every time I connect with somebody, I get another insight. I get another just message. I get another phrase that just hits so powerfully. And it all comes because these people live it. And those are two things that I wanted to kind of just close out this, this message with um, that I wanted to share. So kind of looking at all these different people that I've gotten to connect with and talk with on the podcast, I've tried to find the similarities between them. And it's hard to do because everybody comes from a different path, from different experience that they had. But there was two things that popped out on me. And the first one is strength is about harmony, not balance. This is a phrase that I first heard from my good friend and coach, Tyler Wall, who's also been a guest on the podcast. And he told me to stop using that word balance and find harmony. And as soon as I heard that, I realized that all the people that I've really dove in and had these amazing conversations with and have been such huge successes, not only on paper of finances, of you know, coaching, of notoriety, but truly are living who they want to be, is they found harmony. And the analogy that I use for harmony is like juggling. 
is oftentimes we think that balance is we need all things working simultaneously and equally together. Well, if you think of that with juggling, that's like you have three balls and all of them are at the same height at all times. Well, if you're trying to keep them all at the same height, then they're all going to fall at the same time. And then you're frantically trying to grab all of them at once. That's not balance. Where harmony, one ball goes up while another one's going down and you're juggling them back and forth. So while one thing is working really well, maybe another thing is not working so well. You know, And that's when the people that I found who are truly successful and who have truly found their strength, they know that when those things are going well, they know how to put those in cruise control and they work on the other things. And then they keep juggling those things. They knowing that the way that they feel, the way that things are going, success and failure, it's going to ebb and flow just like the waves. And they found a way to really find harmony within that. I hope that resonates. That's still something that is hard for me to fully articulate, to be honest, but I know that it's the right analogy and it's something that I'm going to continuously keep pursuing and finding the right words for. Um, but seeking harmony over balance, I think is such a important distinction to have when we're talking about strength in all areas of our life. And then the second part is the importance of silence and actually the pause in conversation. So I actually had a, a message with, uh, my friend BG, Brian Grasso before and told him one of the things that I admire so much about the way that he speaks and why I feel like he has such a following of authentic followers um, in the work that he does is because he doesn't rush his message. You know, he has distinct pauses to say exactly what he wants to say at the right moment and not just fill the void of silence with just more noise. And that's a personal victory that I found over this past year in myself. And by no means I'm a master on, I'm on a mastery path of it, hopefully. But taking that time when you're speaking or taking that time when you're writing or however you're spreading your message to actually sit in the silence for a minute and actually think of exactly what it is that you want to say and speak your truth. A lot of times the truth that we have, the things that we want to say and the message that we have isn't right on the tip of our tongue at all moments. It's in there somewhere, but sometimes it takes a minute or two of weaning through the confusion and the cobwebs and the fog that's in our mind to arrive at that clarity and not just filling that silence with more words because we're uncomfortable in the silence. I think that's something that we all can improve on in the culture that we have is taking time to actually sit in the void, to sit in the silence and find out exactly what it is we want to say, what is the message that we want to bring out to the world and who we are really in full strength. That's been a challenge in many ways for me. And, uh, even now finding the words to express it. When you're talking about all areas of your life and trying to construe that into a single message, personally, I don't think that's really a reality. I think it's there's so many different messages that can go from physical side of strength to emotional to mental. But sitting in the pause and not being afraid of the silence, I think is a superpower. And those that I've connected with and have had those great genuine conversations with on this podcast over these last hundred episodes, they're not afraid of sitting in the silence because they know who they are and they know what they're trying to bring out to the world and they know that it's going to come. So they're not afraid that it's going to pass them by. So they sit and they wait for a minute and sit in that silence. That's a superpower. And that I hope over the next hundred episodes, I continuously improve on and I work with. It's something that's top of my mind of working on my articulation and the message that I want to continuously bring out through this platform and through this podcast to you. And I feel so grateful and so fortunate that I'm able to do it. And I'm so grateful for you for listening to this message for 
these last hundred episodes has been one of the best blessings that's ever been in my life. It's been a year personally for me of incredible challenge and complete flip side of that coin, the most incredible blessing and privilege and the opportunity that I've been able to have to connect with you, the listener, as well as all these guests. And I'm going to continuously do this for as long as I possibly can. And seriously, thank you. And I'll leave it at that. Love you so much. Thank you so much. If I can do anything more for you through this podcast or through anything, please message me, send me a response. I would love to hear from you and have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you found some great value here. And if you like this episode, please drop a comment and leave us a five-star rating and review. It does more to build the show than you can imagine. And do not forget to check out and join the Strength Connection Facebook group. In this group, I share the biggest takeaways and lessons from these amazing conversations, as well as training and strength tips for pursuing mastery and fulfillment in life. It's, this group is filled with individuals looking to take full control over their strength, and it's the perfect space to explore new ideas and to share your journey. And you'll also get exclusive access to the Strength Connection Mastery Seminars. It's a deep dive into the physical, mental, and spiritual training that you can begin using immediately. So do not wait. Go now. Seriously, go. All right, much love to you. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you on the next one.